Well, we are going to take this army truck on a little field trip. Not sure how well that's going to work out, but we're going to see. So what we're going to do is we need to go and fix the oxbow merger. It pulled that eye hole out of the frame where it folds the one wing up. So I've got somewhat of a piece traced out here on the cardboard. I'm going to cut this out. We need to drill an inch and a quarter hole right here. And then that's where the cylinder is going to attach to. And well, we'll kind of show you what things look like once we get there. We do have transmission trouble on this army truck, service truck rather. Uh, we might have to pull that to the field, but I need the welder and I need the torches for it. So we'll go ahead and get our piece cut out. We'll show you what that looks like once we get it done. And then we'll get on to the field here. That's going to be a little bit of an adventure, isn't it, Fitzy? Yeah. All right, let's get this work done here. It could be raining. We, we might have to postpone this to another day, but... We're going to get stuff ready here, and, uh, yeah. Well, we've got our piece cut out. That's in the vise. We're going to go ahead and clean it up with a grinder. And we're going to use this Milwaukee, I don't know, it's a 9-inch or whatever it is. But if you recall, I had uh, armature or something go wrong with it. Back in, like, April... And this is going to be the first time that I have used it since then. I had a new cord put on it, a new armature put in it. Uh, they replaced the button up on the side of it here that locks the uh, wheel up so that you can get, or locks the head up so that you can get the wheel on or off of it so we're gonna see if this works we're hoping it does i probably spent more repairing this than i did if i would have bought a brand new milwaukee but i'm pretty sure this one's probably not made in the usa here but the new ones sure aren't so we'll just get our tags off of here Get a wheel up on it. I use the best wheel known, a Walter. Get her spun straight. All right. We'll get some electricity in on it. nothing we got fits in behind us with the uh, bucket loader and this is the first time that the service truck has left the door yard since what this spring yeah, yeah. so we'll see how it goes Well, what do you know? We made it to our destination without any problems. So this is the merger that we need to work on here. We'll get this thing 
situated. And I will show you what we're working with. Alright, now this is usually where it screws up, right here. You go to take off again. Oh, it's, it's working. I don't know. We probably could have went over and got us a sandwich. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, so let's go ahead and get on over here. I'm going to show you what this has done. So what it has done is it has ripped this eye here right out of this piece of steel. So my plan is, is to take that piece of metal that we've made and we'll cut this off somehow. I don't know, how did I have that figured? But at any rate, we'll just cut this off and then set that on there and then we can put a couple of pieces on to kind of hold it into place. So we'll go ahead and get our torches out here and we'll start working on that. I'll show you our piece. Oh, where is it? It's on the floor. Here is our piece here. And we are going to put this down in there, something like a so. Yeah. Something like that is what we plan on doing. So, I guess we'll start cutting away here. Because we more or less need to butt weld that right up to it. All right, we've got our old piece cut off. That is setting right there. We've got our new piece that we are going to just scab on in there. We'll put that in just a lock of so. We'll get that all welded in all real good like. And then we can get that cylinder uh, matched up. And then I don't know how I'm going to plate that. I would like to plate that to give it a little reinforcement. But I didn't bring enough stuff with me. What I would like to do is go from here around and down and then grab some of the meat there on the other side. But I think we should be all right, huh, boys? All right. Let's start stuffing some rod into it. Huh? All right. All righty. We got that all clamped into place. Now we just start need we need to uh, apply some welding rod on there, huh? Yes, sir. Let's get her done. I'm getting hungry. I need a sandwich. Okay, so we have that all welded on there, and I was going to put some plates and everything like that on it. But you know what? I want to get it back to the shop and use some materials that I have at the shop rather than trying to cob it here in the field. I'm fairly confident that it is strong enough to get this folded up just the way it is. We might have to torch off a little bit right here just so that it doesn't bottom out on the uh, cylinder there. So. We'll go ahead and have Andrew get up in the cab and we'll try to get that cylinder lined up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this head back just a little bit so that we can get that cylinder into place. Okay, that's good. Maybe we want to hold it. 
Yeah, hold it there. I don't know. Boy. Um. You know what? I think you got to come back here and get on this part. We need to lift it up. Alright, so pulling that head back didn't do it, but we're thinking that this whole thing is tilted forward. So what we need to do is roll it back so we can get that cylinder. Try to unfold it. Is that cylinder all the way out? No, the other way. Is it unfolded? So now we got to have Fitzy go up and back. So what we've done here is we have hooked the chain in there. Hold on. We hooked the chain in there and uh, what has happened is this whole thing is tilted down. The thing is we can't fold it up with the chain because once it gets so far it's going to you know be all yeah goofy like. So Go back the other way. Yeah, 
Yeah, why don't we get some blocks? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I wonder if he goes up high enough, we can just put the bucket underneath that shoe. All right, let's do that. Get get turned around. Go up. The other way. The other way. The other way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. We're going to put the bucket underneath it. Maybe go like that. What we're going to do is put the bucket underneath this one shoe so that we can shorten up our distance here so we can get that actually get that pin in we just want to watch these lines right here or not and I don't think we've released any pressure here that's still pretty tight uh, go down oh what that has done is it's just tilted it here well we're hitting that stop now so back up a little bit back up about two inches whoa all right come up underneath it some more Okay, stop, shut it off. All right, we've got negative pressure on the chain. Andrew, come here. All right, so we're going to discuss a plan here. Okay, what we're going to do, being that you don't have complete control over that cylinder, I want you to be ready to shut the key off in the event that something goes wrong. So we're going to release that chain, get rid of the clevis, get the cylinder out all the way, and you might have to just slowly bump it back so that we can get that pin in. So I'm going to have two hands held on there, actually... Uh, why don't we dial up on the phone, okay? Yeah, if something happens, get it shut off. So, jump up in there, he'll call you, you gotta go out first. Yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, let me see. 
see if this works. So I've got too much meat here. We need to cut some of this off here so that we can get that pin in there. So we'll go back and get the torches and get them here so that we can cut that. Okay, so let's see how this works.
why don't you let the loader down all right so he's just gonna let the loader down and then we'll let him fold that up Come forward. Andrew, fold it up some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up a little bit. Whoa, go down. All right, you're good. Go down. All right, back up. All right, go down. Go down. All right, so what I wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure everything was in line. And the reason why it was so cocked is that I was able to go forward some. So we'll go ahead and let them fold it up. Fold it up. Fold it up. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this back to the shop. And we'll clean up this weld here. And we'll just lay something over this other side. I would, I would feel better actually to lay something in there weld it here and then weld it all the way around but really that's that's pretty strong because it's pulling from all angles and we're not bottomed out uh inside there so we'll go ahead and get this back to the shop and uh maybe half hour or so we'd have that all cleaned up and uh Built back better. Ready for yeah, we gotta build it back better, Nate. Or uh Fitz. Alright, take her home. Hey. Back it in uh back it in the shop. I gotta just clean that up and weld some pieces on. Alright. We'll get our stuff picked up here and get her on home. All right, that job went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. However, it was a little bit to get the pin, the cylinder to line itself up. But for a hot minute there, I was thinking that there was something else going on with it. I was thinking maybe the reason why that plate broke was for another reason, but that just, got fatigued and uh, just ripped itself out um, so we'll get that back to the shop Andrew's headed back with that and we'll see if we can get this truck home without any problems if this goes home without a problem then today has been working out really well Let's see if we can get her back to the farm. Well, it looks as though we made it home. We're not quite in the driveway yet, but I think I can coast from here. So we'll get these electric tools unloaded from the truck here and wait for Andrew to get home. And he can get that merger backed inside and we'll get that fixed up.
Alright, Andrew is back here with this merger. We're going to clean that up with a wire wheel, grind off some weld, put some plates on there. And then that is going to do it for the merger. My father pulled this excavator in here while we were out and about working on mergers. And these bolts were loose on this uh, one cutting edge and you can't tighten them up. So we need to cut them off, clean everything up, put some new bolts back in there, and get this on out of here. Right, bub? All righty. So we'll cut those and uh, get some new bolts in there. get started on this merger so we can get it done and out of half well I guess we've got this job done officially that tab the way we had it welded on there probably would have been fine but I feel a lot better now that we've got a couple of plates put alongside of it so I used some 3 8 by 4 flat bar, shaped it out to the shape we needed. Uh, this is where it's butt welded to it, and then this was welded to uh, this piece here. But this here might only be quarter inch. This is 3 8 here, but we don't know what they capped this with. Um, so as far as that lug goes, it's nice that it's all kind of tied uh, back together here what are we going to do about the other side well uh, the other side looks fine um, I don't know yeah just have to wait till we cross that road right yep. this is why you don't run with the wings half in the air doing this right yeah well, uh, there you go well we've built back better right built back better so that is going to do it for this video we are going to roll into the next video here you guys will see that here in the future but we have a Himaway Cobra Pro electric bike that we're going to put together I've got my other Himaway Cruiser that's my everyday commuter right there and uh, they wanted me to try this out so with that being said, folks, that is going to do it for this video. I'm going to get this merger rolled on out of here. We probably better spill a little water on there to make sure we don't have any chaff on fire. And then in the morning, I'm going to have these guys clean this merger up. And uh, 
will get it put away. It was about three weeks ago now that this broke. So it, uh, it did what, one day? One day and then the cam followers went. Nate worked on that and he didn't get a half a day in and that eyelet pulled out and Andrew merged all of the hay with that rock merger. Uh, we actually have the old camp follower tracks right here. We're going to save them because what we're going to do is we're going to get new ones, use the shafts over again and have them on deck here. Um, why don't we get a five gallon pail of water and we'll just, when you back out the door, I'll dump it on there. So that's going to do it, folks. Take her easy and we will. What are we gonna do? We're gonna catch them at the next one, right? We got a motorbike to put together, don't we? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. 1,000 watts. That one there is 750. That one drives from a Bufang or Buffang motor in the wheel. This one has the motor on the bell crank, I think. I'm not sure, but stay tuned. Yeah. All right. <clears throat>